Springle. Welcome to the end of summer edition of the New Jersey Local. And I'm Kent Manahan. We're going to take you to meet some interesting New Jersey people, from an 18th century general to a man who calls himself the skyscraper. And if you've ever wondered what life is like for a flying traffic reporter, we'll go flying with one of them. And also let a South Jersey man explain why the bicycles he makes sell for as much as $2,000 each. We're here at Bell Laboratories in Mary Hill, one of the world's largest industrial research centers, and also working home for Dr. Benjamin Logan of Madison. He is a research mathematician here with a half dozen patents to his credit, but outside the scientific community, Dr. Logan is Tex Logan, who happens to be one of bluegrass music's finest fiddlers. Testing, testing. Good evening, everybody. Stanhope House is proud to present Pete Rowan, Tex Logan, and the Greengrass Gringos. Give them a welcome. I think people uh, used to be more surprised to uh, find a, a technical person as being a musician, let's say. I had a, a doctor's degree in electrical engineering and also played the fiddle, not the violin, you know, semi. I guess it, it used to be uh, I, you couldn't do your thing like that, uh, play the fiddle and, and go to school at MIT without raising some eyebrows, but I think those days are gone now. I don't find much reaction now to that. The music's always been a part of my life. My dad was an old-time fiddler, early settler in West Texas, and uh, all my life I heard fiddling around the house. We'd have musicals and things. And I began at an early age to try to play the fiddle. I went to various instruments, piano, and trumpet is another one of my favorites. But, uh, and even took lessons, but uh, they couldn't teach you how to play fiddle like my dad played, so it's something that has to come to you. So it did one time, I guess I was in high school. I shut myself in a room and decided I was gonna play the fiddle, and that was beginning my fiddling, and I carried it on with me through college, Texas Tech, and then to MIT. Then I quit MIT and went and became professional. I went to MIT to study electrical engineering and get my master's degree, and I took some time out there. I had to play the fiddle, you know, and you really get a fiddle bug, and you've got to play the fiddle. And uh, went ahead to get more education in electrical engineering. When I came to Bell Labs, I worked on a doctor's degree at Columbia University and uh, managed to keep the fiddling going along as a kind of a recreation. If you could ha had a local place you could play regularly and work days, that, that would really be great. But when you have to travel, you know, 100, 200 miles or more to play and go to work next day, <laughs> that's, that's stretching it some. I have done that. I think uh, research ties your mind up so completely that you have to once in a while break free from it or you'll go bananas. Born and raised in Texas, I miss it. I like to, I wish I could live there and, and uh, do the kind of work I do, but uh, when you get a, a lot of education and you're, you're not fit to work many places, <laughs> so, uh, there's, there's nothing really uh, around my home t uh, town or around Big Spring, Texas that I could do. I, you don't have the 
opportunity to, to do the kind of research I do. I do uh, math research, I guess, uh, is a general area, and more specifically, I guess, uh, Fourier theory, and uh, work on communication problems that have a, a good math problem in them, and uh, sometimes we get some applied uh, results there that uh, apply to transmission of signals. Now, if you form this signal, divide it by a factor containing that uh, zero. This is still an entire function of exponential type, right? This is not necessarily a first but order this van zero. No, we'll just, let's just take one zero out. It could be a high order zero. Sure. And it'll be at the same exponential type beta, beta. the outer frequency. Yeah. Yeah, it used to have a zero at the C, and now you replace right. it by one at A, and you can move it around. Right without changing the spectral support, and uh, that w free zero is free to be moved or right. taken out completely or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the important concept in this problem, and uh, why don't we continue this after lunch? It looks like we're it's running out of lunch. Time, time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It seems that musicians and mathematicians uh, go pretty well hand in hand. I know a lot of instances like that. I don't know the reason for that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a mathematical mind appreciates music more than a, another, but that's hard to believe. I don't know why it is, but you can have a lot of fun with, uh, you know, trying to put mathematics on music and try to figure out something, relations in music from mathematics, but the kind of music I play, I don't think is uh, subject to that uh, strict analysis. It's, uh, it's just uh, free playing music. Okay. Well, friend, I've uh, been living here on the East Coast a long time, but working up and down the East Coast. I was born and raised in Texas, and. Uh, out where things are quiet. Life here is so fast, furious and frenzied. It finally got to me and I wrote a tune called the Northeast Seaboard Blues that tells about that one. <laughs> Bluegrass, although it didn't originate in New Jersey, it's, it's a basic form of music. I think it's so fundamental, it's like an, uh, various other forms of music, I liken it to Dixieland. It has a discipline all of its own, but still freedom. Uh, and 
There's no problem in communicating with people with good music. It's universal. It doesn't have to be New Jersey. It can be Japan or anywhere. Well, I like to... Uh, be in a group where you get a lot of interplay and uh, everybody gets enthused on a particular number. It's just uh, interplay between musicians and the mutual feeling and release of feelings and talking back and forth with the instruments. That's the, what it's all about. It's performing with other people that uh, share and contribute and it's just another form of communication. And, and of course, there is a, a nice feeling about being able to communicate that to people that enjoy it, too. It's nice to have an audience. Everybody got something they do when they go home, and this is what I do. Play the fiddle. Catch Logan. And for now, that's the New Jersey Local. We enjoyed bringing the show to you this month and hope you had a fun time, too. You just might know somebody that you'd like to see on our show. And if you do, let us know about that person. Send a card or a letter to New Jersey Local, New Jersey Public Television, 1573 Parkside Avenue, Trenton. New Jersey Local, New Jersey Public Television, 1573 Parkside Avenue, Trenton. See you next month.